I don't know if you guys can see that helicopter over there. It's like one of those cargo helicopters, the ones that like drop off packages. I forget what they're called. I'm gonna find out. We're ready to go uh, break dance in the streets. Got our cardboard. Yep. Just pure sunshine street. Here, I try to notice that. So basically, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go down this street of New Orleans, not New Orleans, Orleans, or Orleans, however you wanna call it, and just go there north and probably come back south the same way. It'll be easy and it'll be sunny. That's the good part. So it feels great. It's so nice and sunny. Y you would be, if you were me. You would be fooled into thinking it was a lot warmer outside. It's not that warm. It's like what, 30 or 35 degrees? And it feels nice when it's not windy. So it's tolerable. But once it gets pretty uh, pretty windy, it's like, okay, it's a little cold now. I have two layers of jackets right now. I have my little hoodie and my little, uh, my, my thicker, maybe not thicker, but my other sporty one. And then it's just a t-shirt. So I don't know, maybe an extra cardigan would have would have been okay. We're gonna keep going north a little bit. Still feels great. Do some sunshine. Ah uh ha! -huh. Ah, sunshine. What the shit? Was I not recording? Oh! That's right. This is not new town, not uptown, not downtown. This is old town, baby. So old town's got a lot of stores, a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants. It's very trendy. Looks nice. It's just cute. It's just cute. Like this little girl right here. I mean, is that tall? Need a drill. I need to get a drill. died yesterday and I couldn't charge it until today it's been acting a lot better in terms of battery life which is weird I don't know why like usually wouldn't even get to 20% it would just quit after like 40 and it would just immediately die it's like from 40 to 0 in like two seconds just from using an app like taking a photo or a video which is what happened yesterday and uh, right now it's at 24% I didn't charge it all the way it's 24% it's acting fine like I watched the video it's okay, it hasn't died on me yet, so I don't know what's going on. Ooh, child, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> That's the correct way to sneeze, by the way. Hiromi told me you gotta sneeze in this direction. I'm gonna make a... I'm gonna make a cake today. Um, some kind of cake. I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. A bunch of ingredients already. We bought some strawberries. No, we didn't. We didn't buy strawberries. What am I saying? I have banana. I have some lemon juice. So I'm, I'm gonna make a lemon curd and chill it for about two hours. Then make the... the um, make the sponge which i'm thinking it's going to be a victoria sponge because the genoese sponge are too difficult maybe some meringue to coat the outside probably is what i'm thinking but i do have some whipped cream so i might mix that in with the lemon curd so it has a nice sharp zing to it you guys know what i'm talking about six tablespoons of butter lemons eggs three of them sugar i think any type of sugar will work grab a saucepan get some juice Wash your lemons. Because you're going to need some zest. Lemon zest. Lemon juice. We have a 
cup, and it's pretty much half a cup. So, in your saucepan, lemon juice. And we need half a cup of sugar. Hero's starting to make the gyoza. Pot stickers? It's Chinese. Maybe it's Chinese? I don't know, I can't remember. But gyoza is the name of the Chinese pot stickers. There we go. <laughs> you start heating it over the saucepan. Add your slowly, slowly add your uh, melted butter and a room temperature butter. Ooh, honey. So after your butter's in there, make sure you got your heat on and you're slowly stirring it. I sound like a professional, don't I? Um, it's the lemon curd. As you can see, it's starting to thicken up. Look at that. That's beautiful. If I don't cook it enough, it's going to be too runny. If I cook it too long, it's going to burn and it's just going to be like a gelatin. What else do we not want? Soggy bottom. Very good. Soggy bottom. We don't want a soggy bottom. Time to cool it. When you cool it, you gotta put some plastic wrap or cling film on it. And then you gotta put it directly on it. So, like Hiromi noted, you don't get any air in there. And therefore, you don't get a film to develop. Unlike photography, when you want film to develop. <laughs> Put that in the fridge for two hours. Make sure it's nice and chill before you start using it. At least two hours. So, Hiromi's been busy. Cool. Hiromi's been busy making the, the gyoza over here. Sesame oil? Sesame oil, two things. Show you, everybody, two of those. Two and a half of them as well. Oyster sauce. Hit the 57, hit the 57. So, this little thing over here, that is the flesh, flesh skin, for making the dough. I mean, for uh, making the gyoza. So you take that first, which is a mix of the ground pork, garlic, uh, what was it? Anyway. You, Cabbage, yeah, and you take that, you put a little water. Well, let's let it. Just a little bit, not too much, because it's gonna it's gonna be hard to close otherwise. Put a little water around the edge to make it a um, stick. Then you fold it onto itself. Well, like that get some nice little folds in there, like a baby, like a chubby baby. There you go, like a beautiful chubby baby. And then you put them in a pan, and then you're ready to go on for the next ones. That Red Bone song by Childish Gambino, that thing is the truth. So you have to add one cup of sugar, and I didn't spill sugar inside of there, what are you talking about? Four of these little bastards over here. <laughs> Sesame oil burning on there. I mean, not burning. Heating up. Put your pot stickers on there. Get your gyoza in there. I'm sorry. You have to put them in a nice, organized, cute fashion like that. Otherwise, they will not turn out right. Put some hot water, like so. For five minutes. When you flip it, that's what happens. It looks like that. Then you had to add some flour. 
this kind. Add one cup of flour. It's better if you sieve it through. Don't worry if you get messy. Cheesy. <laughs> It's better if you have two hands to do this. Next you want to transfer your mixture to a greased and wax papered pan. Then you throw it in the oven. Just throw it a baseball and or a softball. I'm just kidding, don't do that, it's stupid. So as Hiroi pointed out, I was accidentally using the wrong, I was using the whisk to fold in the flour instead of actually using like a spatula and so I killed all the air inside of it and so it didn't rise very well. But it's okay. I'm gonna make it to next week. This is the technical. I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it up in the showstopper. You guys know what I'm talking So this should be like double right now. <laughs> Made a donut. Well that's weird looking. Ah, the middle. That's why. Oh. Do not listen to anything I did earlier. Just ignore this whole thing. So let's put some cream in this this bastard and uh, and lemon curd. We gotta use lemon curd. I made it for a reason. Is that right? I'm really excited about this lemon curd, actually. I think it might still turn out really good with this. This is like the best thing that turned out. <laughs> Didn't have any other type of whipped cream, so I'm just gonna use the can guy. <laughs> this is possibly how you make a cake. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. <laughs> it's hard. Just see the layers?